If you're a Mac user and you've ever tried to plug two USB microphones into your laptop to record a podcast or some video content with another person, you know how frustrating and seemingly impossible of a task that that can be. But it's not impossible. There is a way to do it. And today I'm going to show you how. So I got this question recently from a friend of mine who records a podcast on his own typically, but he invited a second person on as a guest. He picked up a second USB mic because why wouldn't you? It's really simple plug and play, except that it's not. So I thought I'd make this video to show anyone how to use two USB mics on your MacBook Pro with Logic Pro 10. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is to plug in your two USB mics. I'll just show you what I have plugged in here is the Blue Yeti Blackout Edition that I've used in previous videos, not a whole lot. I've done some demos with this and we'll talk about that uh, here in a little bit. Uh, so that's the first USB mic. The second one is the Fifine Profile 3, which I've reviewed in a recent video. I'll put the link in the description below. If you're interested, I do love this mic and I use it quite a bit. So I have those two mics, as you can see, the red lights were on, they're muted, they're plugged into my laptop. Now the next thing you're gonna have to do is uh, open up an app on your Mac called Audio MIDI Setup. And it is, a, the icon looks like this. It's a little keyboard looking thing. When you click on that icon, you're gonna see a window that looks like this. Now, you may not have all these options down the side. This is everything that's plugged in via USB to my MacBook Pro through directly like the USB mics that I have here or via USB-C hub. So um, if you have a lot of options, it may be difficult to sort through to find what you're looking for, uh, but I'll show you how we're gonna do this here in a minute. You'll see uh, what we're gonna do is create an aggregate device. And an aggregate device is a, a, a software device that works, you know, you see my Rodecaster Duo plugged in there. Uh, that is a bit of, that's an aggregate device. I guess we could call it that, it's a hardware version of it that has multiple inputs, multiple outputs, and my computer will recognize that device and all the separate inputs and outputs that it has. So what we're creating today is an aggregate device through the software that will take two different pieces of hardware, my like two USB mics, create a single device with two inputs and multiple outputs. So that's how this is going to work. It's all software based here in the MIDI, audio MIDI setup. So what we're gonna do is come down here to the plus button. We're gonna create device and it's gonna be called an aggregate device. So create the aggregate device and you're gonna see everything here that's plugged into your laptop. If the only things you have plugged in are your two mics, those are the only two things that will show up in this window. But again, I have a lot more there. So I'm gonna select the Yeti stereo microphone. You see the, the inputs and the outputs here. I want the, the two inputs, select that one. And I want the Fifine microphone that has the two inputs as well. I'm gonna choose that one put it up there. I'm gonna deselect the drift correction because I don't think we're gonna need that. And what that does, let me show you here at the top. The Yeti stereo microphone, it put it, the sub devices, uh, put it as one input or one device with two inputs. Input one and input two are both from the Blue Yeti. That's a stereo input mic. Inputs three and input four uh, are the Fifine microphone, the Profile 3 microphone here. So we need to remember that. One and two is the Blue Yeti. Three and four is the Fifine Profile 3 mic. I'm gonna go ahead and name this something different so we can find it easier here in the next step. I'm gonna call this USB times two. That's gonna be our aggregate device. And it has it says it has four ins and zero outs. And we're not gonna worry about that too much just yet. So we're gonna open Logic Pro, that's the next step. And I've already created this project. Simply opened it up, told it to use two, uh, two create two tracks, um, and I named those tracks Yeti and Fifine. I have done nothing else but name the two tracks here. So by default, it's going to give you input one here. And if you, if you open up your inspector here, the information, tab on the left side here of Logic, you're gonna see everything related to each of these different inputs or microphones. So the Yeti is 
right here at the top. It's going to be my first mic. I'm going to come down here, select this little circle. This means if it's just a circle, it means it's a mono input. But as we saw over here, the Yeti microphone is a stereo mic. So input one and two and the five find same thing, input three and four. So we're gonna go back to logic. We're gonna make this a stereo input. By clicking that, you get the two circles. Now it's stereo input. Click on the word input, that option there, and you're gonna select input one and two. So now inputs one and two that we made our aggregate device, made the Yeti on that aggregate device should show up and start reading here on in the first uh, input. Input two, we're gonna go is the five fine. It's same thing, it's a stereo input, so check the circle. So it's a stereo input, you see the two circles, click input, input, and then select input three and four. Now, I'm gonna switch over mics here in just a second, uh, but I wanna show you, obviously, neither one of these mics, even if I unmute them and tap them, I'll show you, are showing up. They're, uh, logic is not reading them. And that's because, let me mute them again here. You have to select, you have to make them record enabled. So you click the R here and you click the R here. And now when I unmute, you will see the input from the Blue Yeti, mute that. And then the Fifine mic input from that one in the second channel there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute that. And I'm gonna switch my audio source so we don't get any feedback. Give me one second. And now for the test, the real test, did this aggregate device work that we set up? And as you can see, I am speaking into the Fifine Profile 3 that we put in the second channel in Logic Pro. And yes, it is picking me up. Now, there's two reasons channel one is not picking me up. Number one is I set it up for this to be channel two and not to be channel one. So it is working as intended, but I also have the Blue Yeti mic muted. So if I unmute that, you'll see that it will pick up some of the sound from my voice that's traveling because it's only a foot away from me. But you can see how much less it's picking up than the Profile 3 that's right next to me. So we did this right. Um, just to show that, demonstrate that again, I'm going to swap microphones and speak into the Blue Yeti that's a lot closer to me now, as you can see. And uh, you can see the waveforms in the Yeti are larger than the waveforms in the Profile 3 that is now a foot away from me. So you can tell this way, at least, that we did it right. Now, this... Crosstalk is going to be an issue if you have condenser microphones like both of these are. You'll want to separate them a little bit farther apart than a foot and you want to turn them in opposite directions so that the sound isn't going to, it's going to be rejected more than it's accepted into the diaphragm of that mic. So if you and a guest, you're sitting across the table, this isn't going to be so much of an issue. So there you have it, two USB microphones created into turned into one aggregate device that you can use to record separate channels in Logic Pro. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and mute the Fifine microphone because this is some bonus content and I've talked about this in another video, but just a, just a little PSA while we have it here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this Blue Yeti microphone because I know a lot of people still use it. It's still a really popular microphone that you can get in a lot of different stores. Um, you don't have to go to Amazon or somewhere like Sweetwater online to pick up a Blue Yeti. You can buy it at Target or Meijer. It's, it's in the standard stores. And so a lot of people like this mic. You will notice I am speaking into the side or the front of this microphone. Come on, there we go. Where the blue logo is. That's because the diaphragm in this microphone is vertical and it's facing me. This is, it's called a side address microphone. And it's going to pick up what's in front of it if it is on the cardioid polar pattern, which you can look up on how to do that. It's the one that looks like a little upside down heart on the back. That's the cardioid polar pattern. And that means it's picking up what's in front of that diaphragm, which is the logo pointed at you. I see a lot of people using this mic like this because it looks like an end address microphone. 
but as you can see, let me just show you while I have it here. As you can see, the waveforms have just decreased because the diaphragm is not pointed at my mouth. You can still hear me, but you're not going to hear me as clearly. What you are going to hear is I'm going to have to turn this up if I use a mic like this. I'm going to have to turn up the gain, and you're going to hear me, but you're also going to hear me again as my voice bounces off the wall in front of me. You're going to hear the fans from my lights that are right above me because they're going right into the diaphragm as well. If you want a crisp, clear sound from this microphone on the cardioid polar pattern, turn it so the blue logo is facing you you can see the waveforms have just increased so that uh, again showing you that you're using it appropriately this way and it's going to sound a lot better so there's your bonus content two videos in one how about that i uh, hope this has been helpful part one or part two uh, let me know in the comments if you have questions let me know that as well be happy to check in and answer any questions you may have about the yeti or the aggregate device that we set up with two usb mics into Logic Pro on your Mac. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.